Hello, and welcome to Biostatistics, PH750. I'm going to be your instructor this semester, and uh, our summer session is going to take up eight weeks of your time this summer, and I'm going to try and make it as interesting as I possibly can. My name is Tony DeVito. Uh, it's a little bit of a background. You can reach me at adevito at hunter.cuny.edu. That's going to be your primary way of contacting me during this summer session. Um, it'll help me to make sure I don't miss any of your emails if you put PH750 anywhere into the subject line of your email so that my uh, mail reader can capture it and make sure it brings it to my attention. Okay, you can expect to get a reply from me within 24 to 48 hours, sometimes a little bit quicker. Okay, you can see my that I have too many hobbies for my own good. But besides that, I've been an adjunct lecturer at Hunter College for about the past 20 years or so. My background is in environmental and occupational health science. Uh, so I do have a day job also, which hopefully uh, is going to end pretty soon, and I'm going to be full-time as an adjunct lecturer. But we'll see if we can we'll see if you guys can arrange that for me. If you make it pleasant enough for me, and I make it pleasant enough for you this, uh, this summer session, maybe that'll happen for both of us. So at any rate, uh, again, best way to contact me is by email again. Put PA seven fifty in the uh, uh, in the subject line, so I know how, uh, so I know to uh, capture that message and reply to it. Um, class materials will be posted every Monday and Wednesday. This course is a hybrid course. You may take it fully online, or you may show up in a heart in a classroom to actually sit there and listen to some lectures and review some materials and have some personal contact with me if you want. But that is not a requirement to this course. Everything, if you wish to, can be done online. The exams for all of us will be done online. So, um, and we'll go, as we go on through the semester, you'll figure out how that works and I'll be able to uh, communicate with you on how and uh, how to take the exam, uh, what the rules are for the exams, and so on and so forth. On occasion, uh, when I see that we're struggling a little bit, uh, I'll have some supplemental. Uh, help sessions that will be online, uh, uh, perhaps not with a, uh, a brick and mortar option to them, but a, a session where you can, any of you people that are online, doing this online, or the people that are doing this uh, brick and mortar, where any of you can contact me and, uh, uh, and ask me to help you with some questions that you might have with the material. Okay, so we'll talk about this as we go forward. Uh, one of the options I said, as before, is a brick and mortar. You can come in. You can actually sit in the classroom while I broadcast uh, a video of our lecture and our lab material. Some material will be live. Some material will be pre-recorded. But you can actually sit in the classroom and do this if you wish. On the other hand, if you wish, you can take the course in the cloud. Okay, And that will mean that you can sit at your computer and every bit of the material that will be available uh, to brick and mortar people will also be available to those of you who are taking the course online. In addition to that, all of this will be recorded and accessible to any of you that want to go back and re-examine re a lecture, replay a lab, uh, look at an exercise that we did in class, and so on and so forth. So you can literally time shift the course. If you can't be online on uh, Monday night at uh, 5 o'clock or 7 o'clock uh, or any particular time, uh, that recording will be available for the rest of the summer term so you can go back and take a look at it if you wish. Okay, so for those of you that want to come in, the, the, the lectures will be broadcast from uh, room C09. That's in the uh, uh, basement of uh, the Sibleman building at 119th Street and 3rd Avenue. Uh, uh, so we'll go ahead with that if you wish to come in. Now, this is an eight-week course. We're going to cram 16 weeks of material into an eight-week session. So it's really important that you guys don't fall behind on this material. Okay, so you have to steal yourself and really make sure, especially you, you, those of you who are doing this online and don't have the discipline that uh, uh, showing up in a classroom and, and maybe be, being faced with a couple of questions or something like that from an instructor uh, might get from that, that setting. It's really important that you keep up, not only because it's such a short duration, but also because this is the type of course where the material you, you learn in week one uh, uh, introduces you to the material that you would learn in week two, and week three builds on the previous material, and so on and so forth. 
So try not to fall behind if you can. Okay, so what are we going to cover in this course? Well, we're going to learn how to analyze, present, interp interpret uh, data. Uh, uh, we're going to learn about sampling. We're going to learn about statistical tests. So we're going to we're 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 going to cover the basic fundamentals of biostatistics. And this will be for some of you an introduction to courses that you'll take in the future, like, future like epidemiology or more advanced biostatistics course. And for others of you, this might be the basis for things you're going to be doing in nutrition or health sciences and so on and so forth. Okay, now we're going to teach this course using some lecture materials, some lab type situations, and we're going to actually be using software to do some many of the exercises that we're going to be working with. Primarily, we're going to be working with Microsoft Excel, which has statistical functions built into it. You'll learn about that as we move forward. And a specific program called SPSS, Statistical Package for the Social Sciences, which is an IBM product. There's a student version of it that's relatively inexpensive. Now, talking about inexpensive, we'll get that into to a second. Uh, I really try and make this course so that there isn't too much of a financial burden on those, those of you in terms of software and in terms of textbook. But we'll get to that. So what do you need to know in advance of this? It helps to know a bit of elementary statistics, but you don't need that. We'll be starting really from the basics. Um, uh, you need the ability to use a computer. You have to have access to emails uh, and to the course Blackboard page where well, most of this material will be posted and how we're going to uh, interact. You're going to have to use a web browser, of course, to be able to get to that. Now, you're going to need software. Again, most of you already have access to Microsoft Office applications like Word and Excel. There are even uh, online, there are even open source versions of these programs that you can get for Macs and for PCs that are free, that if you wish to use those instead. But if you can get access to my Word and Excel, it will really help. You need access to this program called SPSS. Now, there are student versions of this, grad packs they're called, that are available for about $40 and for about $50. The base version is available for $40. It will do everything we're going to do into this in this course, with the exception of logistics statistics, will be, which will be the last topic, and a pretty advanced topic, that we're going to be approaching probably the last session of the course. Okay, the slightly more expensive, say $50 version, the, the standard Brad pack, costs about $50. There are various sources for it. Uh, sources are posted on Blackboard. You'll be able to get to that later. Okay, that $50 version will include logistic uh, uh, support for uh, uh, logistic regression. So if you can afford the extra few, 10 or $15, I suggest you buy that. If you can't, you can stick with the $35 or $40 version, the base version. And all of the computers at Hunter and throughout the CUNY system uh, that are in the various labs and so on and so forth, all of those have SPSS on it. So if you need it for that last bit of material, you can use that instead. Uh, you, you need a commitment to access Blackboard system on a regular basis and keep up with coursework. That's really the most important part of this whole thing. How's the course going to work? A uh, mix of online lectures, exercises, demonstrations. Uh, we have on Blackboard a discussions forum where you can post questions. I and other students can answer those questions. We can interact with each other. We can exchange information. So we're going to make, because this is largely an online course for many of us, we're going to make great use of that discussion forum. In fact, part of your uh, a part or most of your part class participation grade, 10% of your grade, is going to involve how, well, how often you use that, uh, that mechanism to communicate with me and with other students and to exchange information and take part in classwork. Uh, we're going to have two online exams, and uh, those will take place approximately five weeks in, and again, there'll, uh, there'll be another one about another uh, three or four weeks after that. Those will be non-cumulative. They'll only get, they'll only have the, uh, cover the materials since the last exam, and then finally at the end of the semester, you'll do a, a modest course project, an exercise where you'll demonstrate um, uh, 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 how you might apply uh, a statistical test to a certain kind of situation, or you can choose to take a third exam, which will probably be 
uh, on the last topic that we're working on, which is regression. Okay, you have that choice of taking that third exam or doing that course project. Okay, and you don't have to make that decision now. Uh, probably we'll start talking about that mid-semester, about four weeks in or so, so you can, you'll have plenty of time to decide what you want to do there. Now, uh, the course contents are divided into 15 weekly sessions, so there are basically two sessions a week to get us through the eight weeks, uh, and each of them is going to have lectures, several lab demos, so on and so forth. Again, we'll all post at the Blackboard. Okay, so the important thing is, is that you have access to that uh, Blackboard that Blackboard site for the uh, uh, for our course. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit closer look at that. Okay, access the Blackboard. Um, you're going to need a textbook. The textbook that we're using is an open source textbook. Um, uh, it's called Open Intro Statistics. It's in its third edition. Uh, it's been put together by uh, uh, several uh, 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 academic statisticians. Um, it's a real textbook. It isn't anything that's a compromise uh, on a, uh, uh, a commercial textbook. Uh, however, it is available for free. You can download a copy of it as a PDF file for free. It's also available online if you want a printed version. On Amazon, you have a couple of options of a black and white or a uh, color printed version. Um, uh, and there are some other places where you can even get it a little bit cheaper. So at most, it might cost you $25 if you want a full color printed version from Amazon. Uh, and it, if you prefer to use the PDF version, uh, you can certainly do it that way. It's available at www.openintro.org. We're using the third edition, which is the current edition. Okay, again, looks just like a regular textbook, has many exercises. All of the exercises have uh, answers uh, in them, so you can use it as an extra source of uh, practice on some problems. Uh, again, Excel is going to be the other piece of software that we're going to be interested in using. There are other sources of it if, if you uh, don't have access to the Microsoft versions of it, but it really would help if you use the Excel version, so we're all working with the same piece of software. Uh, you'll need some sort of text editor so you can put together documents for us, um, uh, Word or the equivalent to Word, and you'll need IBM SPSS. Okay, now IBM SPSS is, a, what, is something that they call vertical software. It's software that has a specific per purpose. Uh, Excel is used for many things, used for finance, used for engineering, used in the sciences, health sciences, used in statistics, and so on and so forth. This program, IBM S SPSS, has a single purpose, and that is st for statistical analysis. If the layout looks similar to Excel, there are going to be big differences that we'll explore. It's really largely menu-driven from our perspective. So it's relatively easy to learn, and it served us well in the past. So I think you're going to wind up uh, uh, enjoying using it, not just, uh, uh, and you won't struggle much with it because it really, uh, it's really pretty intuitive. Okay. So again, that's uh, there are various places where you can uh, access this uh, through the uh, six-month license. It's going to be plenty for you. Um, uh, again, there's a couple of versions: the base version and the standard version. I suggest the standard version for about 50 bucks or so. Uh, if your if money's really tight, you can go with the base version instead for about 35 or so. Uh, you can uh, get it from the uh, from the link below. Uh, there's a PDF version of this presentation on Blackboard that you'll be able to access. So you can click on that link or copy that link and paste it into your browser uh, and get to the IBM site where it will direct you to several places where you can buy the software, and basically you can just pick out the one you have the most confidence in or which has the best price. Uh, one of the requirements of this course is, is that you, you uh, are trained in ethics in research that involves human subjects. Okay? And that's because as you move on in your career and in your, uh, both in your professional career and your academic career uh, here at Hunter, uh, it's likely you'll be dealing with uh, data that might involve human subjects, or even you might be involved in actual uh, uh, studies that uh, require you to collect data uh, from human subjects. So in order to make sure that you understand the ethical considerations of this, you're required 
to complete, complete an online certificate course at an organization called cityprogram.org. That's its website. Um, and complete a basic course in human subjects research. Okay, and that, that you'll see that there are various options. Just choose the one that is uh, intended for CUNY, um, Institution CUNY, City University of New York, and that you look for a certificate that's appropriate for graduate students in social or behavioral science. If you've taken this course before and you have a certificate that's more than one year old, you should take the refresher version of the course, which takes a little bit less time. Uh, and in any case, whether you're new to this or you're taking the refresher course, please upload a copy of your certificate to Blackboard. It's, uh, uh, I need that before I can uh, uh, produce a grade for you at the end of the eight-week semester. Okay, and uh, uh, I suggest that you consider doing that early on, that you start to work on it early on, because it's going to take at least three to maybe six or even a, a couple more hours of reading and getting through these short quizzes. And the last thing you want to do is be at the last week of the semester and have pressure to do other coursework that you need to get done and, and have to deal with the, that uh, this material then. It's really interesting reading, uh, uh, and uh, uh, the, the quizzes uh, are pretty straightforward. It's just uh, making sure that you've read through the material. So uh, I suggest that you try and get onto that early on in the semester. Okay, again, City University has your affiliation, and we're graduate students. This is basically what your certificate is going to look like when you're all done. It's been printed as a PDF file, and you can upload it to Blackboard. Okay, so again, in-class attendance is not required in this course. So you don't need to be present in class ever if you don't want to. You're welcome to join us on Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, uh, if there's uh, uh, periods of time when uh, uh, we have inclement weather, a hurricane, uh, there's disruptions in transit or something like that, uh, there might be occasions uh, when we might just do the course only online, but I'll let you know of that through Blackboard if that's the case. Otherwise, you know, I should be there most, mostly all, pretty much all, maybe not all, but pretty much all Mondays and Wednesdays to work on this material with you. Okay, again, class participation primarily be, be through the Blackboard uh, discussions forums. Okay, so uh, there will be, again, some voluntary help and review sessions that we'll do online. By the way, that's not me in the corner there. Okay, you probably saw that from the other uh, thing. On Blackboard, you'll notice that when you open up the Blackboard page, uh, the, pro the, um, the Blackboard page is programmed to open in the announcements sections. Any important announcements will be uh, listed in the middle of the page there. For instance, it's welcome to PH 750 Fundamentals of Biostatistic message. Um, and um, uh, you check that occasionally. Uh, I'll also uh, be emailing you copies of any announcements. So make sure that the, that the email that you have registered with Blackboard is an email that you check frequently so you won't miss these messages. Uh, and or drop in on Blackboard occasionally to make sure there isn't any new messages, any new announcements and messages that you might have missed. Okay, on the left-hand side is a bunch of tabs that you can see there, including uh, the announcements that we're on right now, a tab where you can get to the syllabus for the course, a uh, 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 tab where you can uh, go to look at course materials. That'll have the information about city program, about SPSS, about the textbook, and so on and so forth. There's an instructor's tab where you get where if you need to track down my email again, my contact information, you can touch on that. The sessions tab, which you can see is not accessible is on, on my page, not accessible on yours quite yet. It will be by the end of the day. Uh, the sessions tab uh, is where you'll go for the uh, weekly or biweekly material that we're going to be uh, using for the, through the course. The assignments tab is where the various, uh, the uh, approximately eight or so uh, homework assignments will be posted, uh, and the discussions board is where you can go to post to a forum where we're going to be exchanging information. Okay, so that's what the discussions board looks like. Uh, we can post a topic. For instance, here we have uh, an introduction uh, tab, and we have a uh, 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 general questions and answers. As we move on through the semester, we'll be adding other forums that on here so that we can discuss preparation for exams, 
uh, various types of statistical tests and so on and so forth. But uh, we're going to ask you to do an exercise the first week that involves using the discussion board, which will be primarily uh, uh, an exercise that will force you to go on the discussion board and at least post one or two things on the discussion board just to make sure that you know how to use it since it's such an important uh, uh, part of our course. Okay, so technology fails occasionally. Right now I'm recording this. When I'm done, I'm going to take a look at my recording, make sure that uh, it can be heard, that the screen can be seen clearly, and so on and so forth. Sometimes things go wrong. If they go wrong, don't get discouraged. I, there's always a way to fix it. We'll always get around it. If you have technology issues for a while, you can contact me and we'll figure out how to work around them. Okay, what should you do next? Get familiar with the class uh, Blackboard site. Download and read the syllabus. If there's any er errors or misstatements on the syllabus, uh, for instance, uh, dates that I got wrong or something like that, that don't jive with the, the date and the day don't jive or something like that, let me know and I'll correct them. Um, uh, the syllabus will have a, a, uh, a date on it that will tell you which version it is. You might check occasionally, and I'll make sure that there's an announcement made if there's an update on the syllabus that you need to know about. Download and get acquainted with the textbook, okay? Especially start maybe glancing through the first chapter or two. Just skim through it and get ready to uh, get, get a feel for how it's organized. Um, get started on that city program certificate so you don't have to worry about it later on in the semester. Install or get access to Excel and SPSS. And your, one of your first assignments is going to be an exercise that involves using the uh, Blackboard's discussion forum. But you'll be able to see that in a day or two. Okay, check Blackboard frequently. Can't emphasize that enough. That's where all these weekly, that's where all these bi-weekly and weekly materials are going to be posted. Check the announcements, the assignments, updates, and so on and so forth. And make sure you're checking that default email address that you have for Blackboard or adjust it so you know it's going that an emails I sent you through Blackboard are going to the right place. Okay. The main course rules, there are three course rules. Number one, don't panic. I know a lot of people have an issue with uh, taking math courses. It may have been a long time since you've uh, taken a, a, an advanced college course at all, or, or particularly a math at some a course that involves a bit of math. But don't panic on it. We're going to start. Uh, we're going to start from the basics. For those of you that are a little bit more advanced, you're going to have to be a little bit patient as we move through, it, through the more advanced topics because some of the material might be kind of repetitive. And simple to you, but we're we're not going to leave we're, we're not going to leave anything to chance. We're going to start from the basics. We're going to work our way forward. Keep up with the course. Summer course only eight weeks long. I can't emphasize enough. You really need to keep up with the course. Okay. And the third thing is no man left behind. We're going to use that discussion board to help each other out. Students are going to work together to get through the assignments. There's no restriction on talking about the, the work or co cooperating with each other on the homework assignments. The exams, you're going to have to do on your own. Uh, uh, you will be permitted to have general discussions about how tests are done and so on and so forth on, on the discussions board, but the exam you'll have to work through on your own. But as far as any of the other assignments are concerned and projects are concerned, you can exchange information, you can help each other out, and I'll be trying to join in with that as well. Okay, I'm looking forward to an interesting and rewarding experience for all of us, myself included, this semester. So uh, we'll be talking either online or in class uh, pretty shortly. So again, today uh, we're only communicating online. And on Monday, presumably we'll, we'll meet in class if you wish to. Uh, I would keep an eye on that. I'm traveling. I don't know if you can hear in the background. There's, I'm outdoors here and there's some wind rustling. But Monday, I'll be returning, and if there's any travel issues and stuff like that, I may have to do the course online. So keep your eye on Blackboard, and you'll know where we stand for sure in any case. So see you soon. Bye.